Hello everyone. Now we will continue with our new topic. Our new topic in module pool is tab strip. Now we will learn how to display a output in the form of tab strip. We covered the topic table control, how to display the output in table control, how to display output using subscreen, how to display a output using model dialog box screen. Now our next is how we can display the output in the form of tab strip, tab strip. Suppose I will go for an example. I'm going to SC11 transaction code. I'm displaying a table. So have you seen these are the various tabs, attributes tab, delivery and maintenance tab, fields, input help check, currency slash quantity fields indexes. These all are the various tabs. Now this is our topic. If customer is saying he want the output in the form of a different tab pages, then in that case, we will create a tab strip in module pool. What will be our requirement? We will create two tabs, one for header data, one for item data, on the header tab, we will display the data from header table and on the item tab, we will display the data from the item table. This is our requirement. So our next topic is how to create a tab strip in module pool. I will go to SC38 transaction code and we will create our next program for tab strip. This is our fourth program which we are creating. I will go for create. I will give that title. To display the order details and I will for best understanding I will write suppose tab strip. It is our module pool program. Save. I'll save it as a local object and I will activate the program. I will click on to display object list. It navigates us to SC80. Now we have a blank program and we will start with the creation of the program. What we will do, I will just go for a sample layout, but we will do we will create a label for order number. We will create a input field for order number. We will create a submit button. And we will create two tabs, one for header and one for item. Whenever user will give the input and click on to the submit button, in the header tab, header data will be there. In the item tab, item data will be there. This is our requirement. So I will simply create a screen first so that we can design a layout. I will right click on the program, create screen. Suppose my screen number is 100. I will give the short description, suppose, main screen. I will save this. I will go to the layout of screen 200, screen 100, means screen painter. 
I will design the layout of screen hunter. I will firstly take a label. For label, we have to take a text field. I will give some name to the label. Suppose order underscore LBL. I will give the short description order number. I will take a input output field. And we all know how to give a name table name hyphen column name. This is our table and column name is all number. I'll press enter. It is asking, do you want to refer? Yes, I want to refer to data dictionary. Now I will create a button. Push button. Suppose my name of the button is submit underscore BTN. I will give some text to the button. And we all know every button has a function code. Suppose my function code is display. Now we will learn how to create a tab strip and we will create two tabs. So I will just check from the list where is the tab strip. So we have two things, tab strip and tab strip with wizard. Please, please take tab strip with wizard. We are creating a tab strip with wizard. I take this layout element and draw. Now, similar to table control, we have the steps in the tab strip also. And these are the six steps in the tab strip. Whenever one step will complete, it will convert to green color. Suppose I'm firstly on the start step, I will continue. And you can see first step converted to green color. I will give some name to the tab strip. Suppose Z tab underscore order. I'll click on to continue. And you can see second step also converted to converted into green color. Here you have to give the text to the tabs means which text you want on the tabs. Suppose our first tab is header details. Our second tab is item details. You can go for more tabs also depends upon the requirement. I will go for continue. Now the most important observation here for the tabs, whatever the tabs you are giving for every tab, SAP will automatically generate a subscreen. We will not create, but for every tab, SAP will automatically generate a subscreen. You can see for header details, SAP will generate a subscreen 101. For item details, SAP will automatically generate a screen 102. We'll see after some time. I'll continue. And you can see fourth step also converted to green color. I will continue and I will click on to complete button. And you can see we have two tabs here, header details, item details. This is the way you can create a tab strip.
I'll save this. I'll click on to close. And I'll just come back to the program again. And I will simply, simply activate the program. I'll go to display mode and I will activate the whole program. If I will show you, if I will go to screen 100, you can see we have not written this logic. SAP automatically generated the logic for the tab strip. We have not written this logic. SAP generated this logic for tab strip. If I will go to the program, top of the program, this is the SAP logic for the tab strip. We have not written this logic. And the most important part, we only, only gave the screen 100. SAP automatically generated two screens because we gave two tabs. And if you see, for 101, the type is subscreen. For 102, the type is also subscreen. This is the most, most important part. Whenever you are creating a tab, for every tab, SAP will generate a subscreen. And we are able to see that subscreen. Now, next part will continue in the next video. Thank you.